2012 Peugeot Partner and this has been to a couple of garages with an ABS issue and they couldn't figure it out. I'm using my Autofix scan tool and I've already figured it out really quickly which was awesome so let me tell you what it was. Hello and welcome to another budget and Lego video. Right, yesterday we only had one fault code which was this one. Front right wheel sensor, now we have two, but anyway it doesn't matter. And this is why I've always said, with uh, live data it's always important. Now a couple of things I did very very quickly. Looked at the battery voltage, 14.4 volts, boom. Looked at ABS pump, will it, will, it, will it communicate with the module? Yes, boom. That already has told me a couple of things. Now, what this has been to a couple more garages apparently, and what they said was that there was the ABS sensor wasn't getting any power. So that's why it's come to me. But what actually happens is with these systems, because they only work with the scan tool under 10 kilometers an hour, um, when it detects an issue, it cuts the power off. So here's all our sensors, right? Battery voltage I've always stated is very, very important. But what is also extremely important is to graph your sensors. Because look, like I said, I've already done this, so I just want to show you. So if I drive forward, right? Now, yes, I know that sensor looked different to put others, but if you only quickly look at it, that sensor has worked, but look at them look at that so let me just go back so i figured it out just by looking at the data now look at the difference between the two so let me just go forward again you'll real you'll really see it going forward now look at that look at that so um can we freeze it yeah now there you go so that tells me literally things straight away that the power is most probably okay because it's physically working in the sense of it's doing something i know what the issue is because i took the wheel off and i saw it instantly so but it tells me a couple of things either the pickup ring is damaged or the air gap is wrong and as soon as i saw the air gap i was like bang air gap is wrong i also noticed an aftermarket sensor so let me get the wheel off and show you exactly what's going on and uh, how and why live data like this was seriously important and what was happening with the other garages when they were saying there was no power when they went over a certain speed the system realized there was an issue and it shut itself down so when they were testing it it was no power restart the system and then test it but anyway look it doesn't matter the most important thing is this is the issue so let's get it sorted i'll try and get some close-up pictures maybe but basically that gap is about looks like three three and a half mil where it should be maybe one mil um it is twice the size of what it needs to be let's put it that way so uh yeah let's get it out hopefully this bolt comes out quite easy and we'll see right hopefully now you can see i don't can you see that right there Hold on. you see it there even now Hopefully the camera's showing this, but that is pure rust jacketing. Um, I'm gonna be able to get a hammer and screwdriver in there and knock all that rust away. Um, that's exactly what rust jacketing does. Look at that, it's quite bad. Hopefully the camera shows it. Right, I'm gonna try this on camera so you can see what I mean. Twice I've hit my head now. The diamond. Ha ha. Ha there we go. Wow. Well. Some of the chunks that's come off that.
right. Disconnect the sensor. Right, and there we go. Here's the part number for everyone playing along at home. Genuine sensor. Right. Stupid. With even a brand new genuine sensor, you do not get this little clip with it. You have to take it off. Just put this clip on the sensor, charge me for it. Do you know what I mean? Don't care. Fucking hell, it's so annoying. Push that in. See what this looks like now. Doesn't want to go in because the rust jacket in. You've got issues at the side as well. So be careful, don't damage that. the old one on. Back. All right, let me clean this a lot better. You can see all the black, that's where I took all the rust off, where all the black is, but I need to get it all off the edges. Right, I think we've got it clean now, but one thing I want to show you is, can I see it now? Turn up, more light on it. Nope, it's not going to work. Anyway, right, so, if you see this line here, See that line there where my screwdriver is, you can just see it there. That's where the original sensor was pointing, it was flush with that line, where it needs to be about there. So you can see the difference from there to there. That air gap was big enough and a dodgy sensor or an aftermarket sensor. So sensor could have been fine, but aftermarket sensor, I'm not going to leave it on. And um, got all of the rust out. And now, well, it did fit off camera, so I'm assuming it still fits. Stay there, you fucking twat. Right, I'm assuming it still fits now. Yep. And not only does it fit, we are. No. Do you know what also is in the way? Oh no. 
No, that can't be because... Just please don't see me, that's in the way. The clip for the... It is. Bagger. Let's see if I can do something about that. Clip for the wheel bearing. I don't know if that's moved it enough. No. Oh, hold on. Oh, shit. Thought I had it. I think I've done it. <laughs> I think we're in there. There we go. Yep, that air gap is a million times better. Fucking rust on the pickup there. But I'll try and get you in and show you how much that sensor is away from that original mark I was telling you about. Can you see? Hopefully you can. It's definitely another it's definitely another two to three mil closer. Oop. Right, so I've got the wheel back on, got my scan tool. I'm down here, so all I'm going to do is just spin it by hand. Look at that. There we go. Done. Perfect. Sorted. I'm just outside now. Let's just have a quick look. There we go. Perfect. No more jagging, no more nothing. I'm going to go for a quick spin, but I think we're going to be fine. 